I get a lot of inquiries about, hey, Glendon, I have a job, but I want to start a business. Hey, Glendon, I need my job. I want to start a business. Hey, Glendon, I hate my job, and I want to start a business. And I've been saying for years, I don't have a how to leave your job program because I didn't leave my job. My job left me. But I can give you my story on how I left jobs, and maybe that'll help you. So with that, let's get into it. It was a really rough year, really a rough year and a half. I got laid off three times in 18 months, and it started to fuck with me. Like, really, fuck with me. And then the second, the first time, I was like, and I knew it was coming, so it wasn't that hard, and I was on unemployment. But the second time, it stung. And then the third time, I was working at, you know, PowerTel, which is now, well, Voice Stream PowerTel, which is now T-Mobile. I was salesman of the month. I did all these things, right? But I was a temp. And then the guy calls me into the office, and he's like, hey, uh, we got to let you go, but I can possibly get you two more weeks, right? And I was like, no, uh, I'll leave now. I'll figure it out. And that day, something snapped in me. I don't know what it was, but something in my process, my humanity, my spirit, my soul, something changed. Because I wasn't mad. I was just walking down Peachtree Street saying, okay, how am I going to fix this? I didn't have any money. I was going to get a few checks. So I went home. And oddly enough, I had a computer when I was living in the boarding house. I had a 17-inch IBM PLG 300 and a 17 inch big ass monitor, right? I went on there and that night I started to think. I started to think about my future. I started to think about what was I going to do? How was going to make a big change? So I took out sheets of paper and I started writing down concepts and ideals. And then I thought about going back to school. I dropped out my junior year. I said, well, if you go back to school, finish up your undergrad, get an MBA. So I tried all that out. Cost, you know, job costed it. Thought at the time, this was a long time ago, it was maybe 38, 40 grand for everything. And I said, okay, um, hmm, don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but just start the process and see what happens. And then I estimated it was going to take about six years. Then I went ahead and said, well, let me look at starting the business. But I didn't have any clue to what to do. I had started five businesses before, and they all failed or just broke even. And I said, all right, well, in the meantime, I got to get a job. So part of leaving your job is realizing you need to keep one until you can do better. And then I went on monster.com, and I started looking for jobs that I knew that I could do, but didn't have any references or experiences. It's just like I could do it. You know, someone let me in, someone give me a chance. So I crafted five resumes for five different jobs. And I got a call from one of them. And it was Renecrate. And just to speed up, I went through the whole process and I got the job. And when I got that job, I had no intention of being a company man. My intention was to learn as much as I could from that job and move on as fast as possible. Because what I did was I laddered from Renecrate to the office furniture jobs in roughly 18 months. It's kind of funny how it's roughly the same time frame. So there was this 18-month period where I had jobs, and each job I made more money. I made more money each time I went up the ladder, and then I went off into my own thing. So that's how I left my job. That's the whole process. And if you're trying to quit your job, you still need money. You still got to pay bills. You still have to have a place to stay unless you're married or your parents are going to let you live with them rent-free and feed your ass. And some people are doing that. Uh, That ain't for me. That's just not me because when I was in my down-and-out period, and I called my mother up, and we were talking about it. She said, well, you can move home. And I said, uh, no, I'll figure this shit out. I, I did not go home. I did not, because the thing is, I didn't want to have that image of myself of being that dude at the age of 32, 
going home to live with my mother. That that just really fucked with me on so many levels. So I was like, hey, I'll just stay out here and figure this shit out. And that's what I did. If you want to start a business, you need to have the reality that it's going to be a part-time endeavor unless you're just really special or you have circumstances that allow you to do the business full-time while you're being supported. And that's why I say if you're a kid, you're 16, 18, start a business now. No one expects for you to pay rent unless you've got one of those kind of parents. And take your lumps and make your mistakes and mess up and do that stuff because it's not going to hurt you. You're just going to get all this experience and a very safe environment because one of the things that I think harms a lot of guys is get out the house, get that first apartment, get a car, right? So it sounds like you're seeking freedom and you're getting freedom. Well, in reality, you're becoming indebted. You're getting a car note, and most people don't do the car payment correctly. It's like my car payment's like, you know, 300 bucks, 400 bucks, 500 bucks, whatever. No, it's not. Your car payment is your car payment, it's your insurance payment, it's your gas and your maintenance per month. So whatever you spend on all of that per month, that's your actual cost of owning that car. And for many people, Let's say your car note's five hundred dollars. Your cost of owning that car per month could be eight hundred to a thousand. That's pretty significant, if especially if you're only making two or three grand a month. And that's something that I went through when I was in the military, and I got my first car because before I got my first car, I always had money. Right, I got that car. I was broke. Because most of my check was going to the upkeep of the car, between the car payment. A lot of us, we were young guys. So it, wasn't com- it was very common for our car insurance to be just as much as our car payment because we were all under 25, uh, only had our licenses a few years, and <laughs> it was just rough. So think about that. Now, if you want to leave your job the hustler's kung fu way, you probably want to get promoted. I know it's like, whoa, 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 I'm trying to leave the job. No, because this thing, you need money. You need more money. You cannot save your way to wealth. I know everyone loves the millionaire next door, but the reality is if you could triple your income in the next three years, that's going to go much further with you becoming wealthy than you scrimping and saving. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. So if you want to get more insights like this, Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you want more, a lot more, because I'm going to go into detail of exactly what I did in the Hustlers NBA. I'm going to like real detail, because see, I left a lot of stuff out. I just kind of gave you the uh, topical view. (laughs) I did not go under the skin, because there's some other stuff that went down that I'll share as uh, the training starts this week. But if you want to have a different kind of educational experience and learn how to make money a legitimate, safe, and sane way that's realistic. Uh, the chances of you starting an online business and going from nothing to 100 grand is likely, but it's likely that you can win the lottery. It's likely that you could be struck by lightning. It's possible. It's possible, but it's highly unlikely in reality. But the taking steps and creating a side business with the intention of moving it to a full-time business. That's the thing, because like I said, I'm not trying to keep you in a side business mode. I want you to build something that you can move into the full-time mode and change your life. So if you're interested in that, be sure to click the link below, subscribe, and uh, we're going to start rocking it out next week.